New details tonight about a shooting in West Knoxville. The TBI says Knoxville police officers shot and killed Jamari Griffin. Investigators say in a release officers saw that 25 year old suspect shoot a woman in the face. 10 News reporter Vinay Simlot joins us now from the newsroom and Vinay, you've learned that woman in the case faces several surgeries. Yeah, a friend of the family tells me 23 year old Winter Baserto was shot in the face. She had surgery on Sunday, but will need a few more surgeries because of this shooting. Michelle Braden, a friend of Winter Basurto's family, says it's a long road ahead for recovery. Winter was shot in the face early Saturday morning. This really escalated very quickly. The Knoxville Police Department says officers responded to a domestic call at Winter's home on Santala Drive. Uh, where a man was reportedly armed with a gun. Police say 25-year-old Jamari Griffin shot Basurto in the face. Officers returned fire, shooting and killing Griffin. The man was uh, pronounced uh, deceased at the scene. Basurto went to UT Medical Center for surgery and treatment. Warrants show this isn't the first time Jamari Griffin went to Winter Basurto's house with a gun. In February, officers responded to reports of gunshots at the same home. Warrants state Griffin was Winter Basurto's ex-boyfriend. He brought flowers and tried to get back together with her. When she said no, he destroyed the flowers, pulled a gun, and court documents say he shot at her car's driver's side tire. He was charged with reckless endangerment with a deadly weapon and vandalism, set to appear in court again next Tuesday. After this weekend's shooting... Those injuries are considered non-life-threatening, and she was at the UT Medical Center receiving treatment for those injuries. Winter's family says in a GoFundMe she'll need a tracheotomy and a feeding tube for her recovery that's just beginning. Now the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation is looking into the shooting and the circumstances around it. The officers involved in shooting and killing Jamari Griffin are on administrative leave. The department says it'll release their names later. John Robin. Vinay Simlot on the update. Thank you, Vinay.